Hello, welcome back, and uh, we, we are moving straight to custom sim, still under custom uh, connection detailing. Now, whatever you see, you see on the screen here, this is somehow a thread, a staircase thread. So we want to create our trade connection in between the stringers. So they want to click string on this aisle side and click on string on that side. You a, a thread get created automatically in between the, the, the stringers. Now, what you see here is a thread. Let me delete that so that you see how that thread has been held or was held and uh, uh, was connected in between the stringers. Now I have an angled or an angled line here. Let me just turn this and you can see that clearly. So this is this provides a seating for the thread. So this is very easy to create. You just double click on that so that you see the properties of that. So what I'm going to create here, I want to create a, a thread on this. And to create a balls is very simple. What I did, I'll delete this first so that I create these balls as you see. I'll come to edit. First of all, creating this, uh, creating this angle, angle shape a profile, angle profile. Or oh, you first of all come to steel, uh, steel, and come to beam, and I want to snap from this spot to this spot, ex extreme with with the same length. I'll select on that, but you can see it's a different one. So what do you do? Just double click on this particular one and, and copy these properties, and double click this one, and paste the same properties there, and click modify. It's telling us that there's nothing like that in the world. So what we are going to do, we're going to click on OK and click on empty screen and come back and check that and actually see there's nothing like that in the world. And right click and click copy and come here, double click on this and select everything and paste inside there. So whenever you come and click that, you will see the angle is in place, but it's, it's, it is in the opposite direction. So how do you rotate that and come to position here and come to rotation and click back and you'll be able to rotate that and also you'll be able to shift it down maybe to front will it be able to move or behind so it will be in that position so whenever i pick on it i click ok and i'll be able to directly move it to that position right there but since you've seen how you can do that we'll just get rid of that so I want to create the points to create the balls. I'll come to edit and come to points right there and snap on this position, snap on that position to create a midpoint on this on the on this side on, on this side of the on this side of this on this side of the of this member. I'll pick on this right click and come to copy and pick on this and move all the way to this particular section here. So once I'm there. I'm going to points, I'm going to points right there and pick online points and pick on that and move all the way to this section and right click and click interrupt to get off that section. So I'm trying to create the locations of my balls. So I'll come to points, pick on the point, snap on that spot and snap on this spot. Right click and interrupt and click apply and give it an okay. And I copy this point, hold it from this section or position and take it from that spot to that spot. Perfect. And try to check the measurements. I'll pick it from this position and to that position. We'll find it is 75 millimeter apart. So I'll come to steel, I'll come to bolts and uh, pick on the main, pick the part to bolts together and, uh, and that and press the space bar here and snap on that spot and snap on this spot. You'll see the ball starting position, but they're taking way off the opposite direction, which should not shock you. Double click and come to rotate here, position and pick and click top and click modify. So that's it and that's how it looks and that's how it should be. I'll come to view and come to navigate and try and rotate this. We have the washers in place. So, 
we have the same thing on the opposite direction so we don't need to re re repeat the same thing so we want to create the thread and to create the thread it's very simple we come to steel here and pick the steel the plate click that drop down arrow under plate and pick the plate so under plate we want to create the plate using the these points these four points on the the these uh, uh, parts that anchors or supports the thread i'll come to view i'll come to navigate and i'll try to rotate this right click and come to interrupt and i'll snap on that spot and snap on this spot on that spot and move all the way to the other section though i can't see it clearly and come to that section right click and come to interrupt and uh, finish it there right click but you can see our, our plate is somehow right down to the position that is interfering or clashing the, with the supporting brackets so i'll double click on it and try to shift it up so i'll come to uh, i'll come to position at depth and click on that drop down arrow and, and pick a position that will make it shift slightly up and sit on top of these brackets so i'll click modify and it move slightly up perfect now what we want to create we want to create a seam connection I'll come and rotate that. So this is how it looks. I'll right click to refresh and redraw everything. So the next thing we're going to do is very simple. We'll come to applications and components and pick on the access advanced features. I'll click on that, then come to custom component or define custom component. I click on that and pick seam. The moment I pick seam, I'll pick thread. I'll type thread. Thread 0, 05, that's okay. And prior to going forward, make sure everything you have in mind, everything must be right. Always, um, make sure you check the allow multiple instances connection between same parts. I'll, I'll check that. Now, I'll come back to type and notes. This is the same type of custom component. So I'll go ahead and click next. So in, in here, you'll be able to see custom components. In the model, select objects that will form the custom component. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the component that will form this type of connection or seam connection. So I'll, I'll, I'll press Shift on my keyboard and select everything here. So I'll be able to select only the thread and the, the, brackets, that, the brackets that support the thread. So I'll go ahead and click Next. So the moment I click next, I'll be able to see the, ne the next instruction telling us that in the model, click, the lo click to locate the main part for this particular connection. I'm going to click this as the, as, as, as the main part. So I'm going to click next. So in the, in the model, select secondary part in picking order. This will be the secondary part. I'll click next. So same, same position in the model, select two points or two positions so i want to select two positions here i want to select this position here the nose the nozzles of this uh thread so the one the moment i click on that i click finish and you can see the con already in place indicating that we have the thread in place so I'll right click and I'll right click and, and, and click draw. So we'll come at the bottom end here and try to see whether we have our seam connection in place. So just scroll down and check that. Just scroll down and check that if we have that in place. We, we should have it and we must have it. Thread 05. So if I click on it and come here and pick the main part, which is this one, and click the secondary part, which is that one, and I'll pick from that section, from that section to this particular point. You'll be able to see that we have, we have this in place, this type of connection in place. So that's how you can handle that, and that's how it's done. So we'll move to the system type of connection but that's one is very simple but let's handle that try several connections in the next uh, in the next 
uh, sub topic.